Hi, I'm Jamie Staley, Director of Christian Education at Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church. Each week in family worship, we light a candle together. If you have a candle that you would like to light with us, go ahead and pause the video now to go get that. And if not, don't worry, I'm going to light this candle for all of us. As we light our candle each week, it helps us to remember that God is always with us all the time, wherever we go. Now, using the Aramaic word Maranatha, let us prepare to hear God's story. Go ahead and sit back in your chair, close your eyes. The word Maranatha means come Lord in the language that Jesus spoke. As you begin to breathe in and out, I invite you to say that word silently to yourself. Breathe in and out, in and out. One more time. Amen. Today is Transfiguration Sunday. That is such a big word. Let's hear the story of the transfiguration of Jesus. We find Jesus with three of his disciples, three of his friends, and they are climbing a mountain together. And as they climb the mountain, they get to the top where the Bible tells us that Jesus was transfigured before them. What a big word. Transfigured means transformed or to be made more light, to be made more beautiful, to be elevated. At home today, think about what that might have meant. Talk together about what that might have looked like. The Bible tells us that Jesus's garments were made white like bleached clothes and that he was bright Talk about what you think that may have looked like. And then talk about how you might have reacted to something like that. We know that Peter was nervous. Would you have been nervous or scared to see something like that? In the story, two others, Elijah and Moses, appeared next to Jesus, and the disciples were scared and nervous, and Peter said, Jesus, maybe we should make you a dwelling up here. The Bible says he didn't know what else to say because he was nervous. And then a cloud came over them and a voice came from the cloud and said, this is my son, the beloved, listen to him. I wonder what you think the voice of God sounds like. This is my son, the beloved, listen to him. Talk together at home about what you think that voice of God may have sounded like. Hmm, I wonder. As they went down the mountain, Jesus told them not to tell anyone about what had happened. As we hear God's voice reminding these disciples that this is this is God's son, listen to him. I want you to talk 
at home about ways that we listen to Jesus. How do you listen to Jesus? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the gift of Jesus. Help us to listen to him. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's sing with Miss Yao. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. We're going to sing a love song called Jesus Loves the Little Children. Who are they? You are the little children. Let's sing. Happy Valentine's and I see you next Sunday.